funny. That's the type of person that I experienced Jacob as being very controlling, very manipulative, and uh, just a very non-caring type of attitude when it came to things. That's, that's the person that I knew. Okay, so in dealing with the conspiracy, we've kind of taken it from the angle of Jake York in South Beach, and with our panelists here, we got an insight of many of the people who were not involved in that aspect of the conspiracy, but subsequently did become involved. Um, and what that all leaves us with is basically May 8th, that now we face people who have conspired to defame Dr. Malachi Z. York, paint him as some kind of demagogue, put out all these false charges in the media, and I would like to ask members of his family, um, and starting with the sister Fatima, how does that impact you to see these lies pushed out on a major scale personally? And can you give some insight on your relationship with him as a family man, as members of his family? Yes. Um, well, the first thing I'd like to say is May 8th, though I wasn't there, um, it was a very, very, very horrible day for me, as well as I'm sure everyone in this room and, and our family out there in the world as well, um, well, out there in TV land. But, uh, you know, on that day, my brother called me. Uh, and I was in New Jersey working, and I worked in a home office there, and my brother called me and said, turn on the television set. And I went into the um, family room and turned on the television set, and all I saw was the land and helicopters and men in black suits or whatever they had on the guns. and. And my brother was on the phone with me, and I was like, what is going on? I'm like, am I dreaming? I was like, tell me this is not happening. Like, what's going on? Is this a joke? I mean, I really did not accept that this was taking place. I just really, it just didn't, I would, I, in my wildest dreams, you could have never told me that I would actually be witnessing this thing. And my brother said to me, I've been trying to call mom for the last couple of hours. And I was like, oh no, you know, what, what, you can't, and he was like, she's not answering her phone. So I began to call her, you know, I kept calling and calling and calling and calling, calling my mother never answered the phone. And, you know, he came out and said, well, she's up there. And I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. And I was like, I said, well, what's going on? Tell me what's happening, what, you know, where's uncle? And he said, they took him. I was like, took him where? They arrested him. So I said, silly me, I'm going to call Jacob because he's in Atlanta. At the time, you know, we all worked in the music business, so we did the two-way thing. So I two-way Jacob, and I, I said, Jacob, what's going on? Are you watching the news? And he texted me back. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, well, you need to get out there. <laughs> Go find out what's going on. He was like, no. He texted me back, no, I'm going to call somebody and see what's going on. And so, you know, let's fast forward to, you know, everybody is talking to whoever was on the land. You know, they left and they left. They did all the damage that they were going to do. They took the master teacher. And my mom finally calls us and says, I mean, hysterical like hysterical, like I couldn't even recognize what she was saying. You, 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 don't, know, you don't know what happened, you don't know. I'm like, what, calm down, tell me what's going on, tell me what's going on. Or, you know, I was like, are the children okay? Or, you know, where's Baba? You know, just asking all these questions. And she was like, I, I got, you know, she just couldn't talk. And she was on uh, Tamaray, correct? She was Tamaray, on correct? Tamaray at the time that it took place. She was like, they had guns to our head. The children are crying, they're still crying, they're traumatized. And I mean, she just... You know, she was just hysterical. I couldn't even make out half of what she was saying to me. And, you know, after all of, you know, at, at first I thought that they had gone and, and started to shoot people or something. I just thought, you know, because she couldn't really get it out. And I thought, oh, my God, you know, what are you going to do? I'm, I'm going to go to Atlanta. So I kept texting Jacob, like, 
tell me what's going on. You know, are you going to go up there and find out what's going on? He was like, I don't know, because I don't know what's going on. So, again, we get to um, maybe a day or so later, and I guess my mom had calmed down just a little bit. And she began to tell me what took place. And she was just so horrified by the fact that they had taken her brother. You know what I mean? She was like, they took my brother, they just took my brother, and they threatened all the, and the children, and they broke glasses, and they took our things, and all of that. And I just couldn't, I couldn't wrap my mind around how that, you know, and I kept thinking, gosh, that's my family. You know what I mean? I'm not just talking about my blood family. I'm talking about my family. I don't care what I was doing. I took responsibility for my own behavior, by the way. Whatever I wanted to do is what I decided to do with my life. But that didn't have anything to do with my uncle. My uncle gave me everything he could give me. Everything he could give me. And I, I had that curiosity, and I have to be forthcoming about that. Day in and day out, he would teach me. I learned to speak out of it. You know, we, we were bilingual. We were bilingual. We didn't, you know, we, it, how often does that happen when you're just a black kid growing up in America? How often does that happen? You know what I mean? I was ahead of my class. You know, I mean, when I went to school, I was on the college-bound program for science. They wanted to give me grants when I got to high school to go to college for science because of Malachi Z. York, because I would not have gotten that. My life could have been any, I, my life could have turned out, trust me, any, anyway. I mean, I've seen, like I said, the things that, you know, some of the people that I went to school with what their lives turn out to be. Most of them are not living or incarcerated or strung out somewhere. So growing up with him was such an, exp I can't even explain the experience. I really can't because it, were, it was those things that actually kept me when I was out in the muck and the mire. I mean, dealing with straight up devils. I know exactly what you're talking about because when you're dealing in that environment, when you're in an environment with people that have no morals, no ethics, no principles, nothing, their whole life is based on self-medicating. They don't even want to deal with their lives. And if they're self-medicating, they could do it. They'll self-medicate, be it by drugs, alcohol, sex is self-medicating. So they're out there, you know, and you're amongst that. The only thing that saved my life was my uncle's voice. It saying, that's not for you. That's not for you. That's not where you're from. You know, that's the only thing that saved my life. And I promise you, I have no reason to make that up. Because I was presented with so many things, and that devil will try to come for your soul so many times. You're in the course of a day being tempted. It just, it's just ongoing. It's just an ongoing thing. So I kept the things that he gave me. I mean, he gave me a lot. He gave me a lot. And I think that that experience, just growing up with him and remembering him, and in my mind thinking to myself, how could they make, how could they, I mean, these allegations, there's no way. The man that I know was one of the most wonderful people you, you could ever come upon. <laughs> that you could ever come upon. Even when he chastised me, which he did often, I still, I still, it was just like, oh, well, I guess I'm in trouble again. I'll go into my little corner. Hopefully he'll be over it in an hour or two so I can follow him around again. But, you know, it was just to answer your question, growing up with him and having him be my personal, it's very personal for me, teacher and guide, 